Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I am Danielle and welcome to Live at Five. Happy Monday and it's a new month. It's March today. So we're kicking off the March. This month is strong with our workout today. Also, I have posted a squat challenge for the month. If you check it out on my Facebook or Instagram page at Danielle Mora Fitness, there's a little calendar so you can see how many squats to do each day. Um, and then there's options too, advanced. You can use weights to make it a little bit harder. Okay, and then I'll be posting some variations. So it's just kind of a fun challenge that we can do together. You can join it at any time. And if you miss a day, it's okay because there's about like seven rest days built in. So that way you can kind of adjust it as needed. All right, so today we've got a quick workout, just about a half an hour, four blocks of work. Each block has two exercises and we repeat it twice. So we build muscle tone and get the heart rate up, burn calories. You guys ready? So grab a few different size weights, uh, medium and large. And you'll also need a mat for some floor work. That's about it. Modify as needed and make sure you stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Flory. Shout out to my sister. Shout out to my mom. Let's go. You guys ready? Happy Monday. Let's do this. All right. Starting out with a warm up, you can just move your equipment out of the way for now. Roll the shoulders. Good. Inhale the arms up, reach nice and tall. And exhale, one more time, deep breath. And exhale, so we got one squat, one twist. Now if you'd like, you can open the arms and then you get a nice stretch in the chest. Doesn't that feel good? Especially if you've been working at a computer all day like I have been, these chest opener exercises feel so good. Just move our body. Feels good to move. Let's do four more. So squat low, open the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades. Last one. Next move, hamstring curls. Kick your butt. Let's add a mid-back pinch. So right here, squeeze your shoulder blades and open the chest. Bend the knees. Your heel comes right to the glutes. And four, three, basic squat. Down and up. Sit the hips down and back. Chest is lifted. You're warming the hips and thighs. Now turn to one side. Static lunge. Down and up. So your knee reaches to the floor and then push out of the heel. Add the arms. So we lift and lower. Keep the body in a vertical straight line. Last one. Change sides right away. Lunge down and up. Knees over the ankle. When you're ready, add in the arms. Two. Now squat and round your back. Squat, round, squat and stand. So tuck your tailbone and tuck your chin. Single knee lifts. Lift the knee and change. Drive the thigh up to the chest. Now we add the arms. Arms pull down. So crunch your core. Four, three, same thing, add a twist. Working our obliques. Getting the heart rate up as the arms are overhead. Four, three, two, feet together, side lunge. Side lunge together. Other side. Sit the hips down and back, but keep your chest up. Change sides. Here's four. Push out of the heel, knee stays behind the toe, other side. Feel the heart rate going up here. We're moving a little quicker. Let's alternate sides now and change. If you'd like, reach for the inside of the foot or maybe your calf or your knee. Feel a nice stretch in the adductor so the leg is straight. Last one, hold it here, arm circles. Loosening up the shoulders. Oops. 
Reverse direction. Hitting the wall here. Good, last one. Goal post arms, and let's just twist through the spine here. Good for our thoracic mobility. Three, two, and one. Good. Roll out the shoulders. First set of exercises, we're going to target the lower body. First move, squats, grab your heaviest weights. Beginners, no weight. Place the weights at your sides or on your shoulders. We got a lot of sunlight for the video today. I'm loving it. Feet outside the hips, squat two and two. And yes, these squats count towards your squat challenge. Nice and easy. Front back parallel to the floor. So squeeze your butt as you lift. So we're going slow, right? That gives you time to get the full range of motion. But we want to lift the heart rate too. So let's go faster. Singles. Down and up. Push the heels into the floor and squeeze your butt. We're going to make a little combination. Three pulses at the bottom. Three, two, one. Now two singles. Feel the heart rate going up. Pulse low. Heels down. Make sure you can wiggle the toes. We want to load the legs. Feel the glutes ignite. Two singles. One more time. Three, two, one. Two singles. Now take it to the bottom slowly, down, hold it here, wait, stay here, wiggle your toes, three, two, up slow, oh, feel the heat in the legs, I feel it, set your weights down, right in front of you is fine, next move, I'm going to give you some options, no weights needed, I'm going to get the heart rate up even more, lunge and tap, lunge and tap. Keep your chest up, bend your knees. Now if you want more, lunge with a knee lift. Use your core here. Working the front glute, hip and thigh, getting the heart rate up. Level three, lunge and kick. Lunge and kick. Good. This is challenging our balance and stability and really firing up the glutes. Four more. Lunge. Get low on your lunge. Two. Last one. Now hold it here. Lunge. Stay low. Let's tap. In and out. Use your arms. We're not here long. Four, three, two, one. Oh, that's a burner. Pick up your weights. Round two. From the top, this time, wide squat. So your feet are a little bit wider. Toes up slightly. Push through the heel and the outer edge of your foot. Activating our glutes. Singles. Keeping the core tight. Squeeze your glutes as you lift. That's it. Knees pushing wide. Three pulses. Three, two, one. Now two big singles. Singles lift the heart rate and burn calories. The pulse builds muscle tension. That's how we get stronger. Keep it going. You're doing great. Let's get the full range. Maximum muscle recruitment. Three, two singles. Now listen, down slow. Whole bottom weight. Lift your arches. Now push up through the outer edge of your feet. Oh. Release. Weights out of the way. Lunges, other side. We start with a lunge and tap. Just join in when you're ready. You can go faster or slower. It's up to you. Keep the knee stacked over the ankle, not in front of the toe. Get 
catch your breath, and then we build it back up. So lunge with a knee lift. This is optional. You can stay with the lunge tap. Two. Now level three, we add the kick. Lunge and kick. Good, lean back, engage your core. Good. Two. One. Now lunge and hold. This is a burner tap, in and out. Keep the knee bent. Pump the arms. And three, two, one. Time. That's our first set. Check. Done. Stretch your quad. Heart rate is up. We're going to move it on down to the floor for our next set of work. Chest. Grab your mat. You'll also need a medium-sized weight for chest flies. Grab a quick sip of water and then join me. We're down on the floor. Perfect. Setting up for push-ups. Hands go just outside your mat to the outer edges. Set on our knees. Ready? Here we go. So it's down for two and up for two. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Chest to elbow height. So 90 degree bend. We're going to pick up the singles. Maybe try it on your toes. Down and up. Now, if you're not getting the full range, I want you to just bring your knees a little closer. Got it? Now the combo. Three pulses. Three, two, one, two singles. We only have one more set right here. Three, pulse low, control it. Two singles. And stop. Roll over, grab your weights. Come all the way down. Feet on the floor, chest fly. So open the arms wide like you're making a big circle, right above the chest. Your elbows don't touch the floor. Press your shoulder blades down, away from your ears. Stretch the weights wide. The straighter your arms, the more resistance you're going to feel here. We're going to try something a little different. So brace your core, just the front arm, down and up. Back arm. So just one side at a time. Do you feel how this engages your core? Forcing you to stabilize. Keep the arms as straight as you can. Now we do have two rounds of this. So if this feels too easy, go a little bit lighter. If it feels hard, you can bend your elbows slightly. A shorter lever is less resistance. Front, together, back. Now both arms to the bottom and pulse. Three, two, one, squeeze tap, three. Keep your shoulder blades squeezing together. Straighten your arms as much as you can. Feel the resistance. Last set. And squeeze top. Good. Weights down. Drag the backs of your thighs. Roll top. Round two. Setting up for push-ups. We're going to go right into singles. Let's go. Down and up. Squeezing shoulder blades. Elbows out to about 45 degrees. Not quite in line with your shoulders. Now the combination, three pulses, two, one, two singles, down and up. One more time, three pulses, get low, keep breathing, two singles, and stop. That was intense. Whew. One more set of flies. Pick a weight that's going to be challenging for you, because change happens outside of our comfort zone. I'm going to go a little heavier this round. We want to reach the point of fatigue because this is where we change the shape of our muscles. That's why we need two rounds. We fatigue the muscle, 
Just the front arm. Down, down, up, up. So really control. Elbow doesn't touch the floor. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades. Really important to isolate the chest. Exhale to lift. Feel the resistance. Keep bracing your core. Now both arms down and pulse. Three, two, one, squeeze top. It's okay to bend your elbows slightly. We want to keep good form. Three, two, keep it going. A little pulse. Two, one, squeeze top. We're almost there. Two to go, two to go. Deep breath. Last one. Three, two, one, and squeeze top. Excellent. Roll top. Good. All right, we're more than halfway. We got our second block done. Move your mat out of the way and come back up to standing. For this set, you need medium weights. We come into a wide stance. Press your toes out. Now plie. Down, down, up, up. So the wider squat stance, this is going to really target our hip abductors, the outer thighs. Lift your chest. Relax the shoulders. Push through the outer edge of the feet. Your knees track out over the middle toes. Let's go singles. Pretend you're sliding your back down the wall. That'll help you keep your chest up. Four. Three. Now get ready. We're going to add on an upright row. Let's go. Down and up. Elbows super wide. Your weight stop at the bottom of the chest. So your elbows don't go higher than the shoulders. We want to keep our shoulders safe. Now you have the option to alternate if it's getting tough. Otherwise, stay with both arms. Now squat low. Feel the heart rate going up as we're working multiple muscle groups. Four more. Three, two, and time. Release. Next one, also for our hips and thighs. Set your weights down. We've got a speed skater. So start with me. We curtsy lunge, and then you're reaching towards your ankle or your toe. Now start to add a little jump. Arms go to the side. Keep your chest up, so keep looking forward. Now make it bigger. Reach low. This is for our hips and thighs, and we're getting the heart rate up. Get low. Make it big, explosive. Three, two, and time. Good. Halfway through, we're back to the weights. Let's bring the heart rate down first. Active recovery. Just the plie. So we bring the heart rate down, but we're still working. Push your knees wide. Squeeze your glutes as you lift. Singles. We start to pick it back up. Two. This time, we add a bicep curl. Squat and curl. Keep your elbows in close to the body. Option is to alternate. Squat low, chest stays lifted. Squeeze the inner thighs. This is reshaping our hips and thighs. Keep the elbows underneath the shoulder. Four to go. Make it big. These last reps, these are your best. One more. Stop. Set your weights out of the way. Set up for speed skater. And when you're ready, let's go right into it. So you pick the option. If you don't want to jump, you're stepping behind. 
reach low, push your weight up through the heel. Lots of options. Advance, make it big. Add a big jump. Keep breathing. You're doing great. Just a couple more. Three, get low, and time. How'd you do? Let's stretch. Quad stretch. One short block to go. We're going to finish with our core. Core and back. Two more exercises, and we repeat it twice. Come on down to your mat. You don't need any equipment here, just your mat. Come in to hover. Elbows under the shoulders. Now beginners stay here on your knees. Advanced, lifting up into full plank. Make sure your hips are not too high. We want to be in a straight line. Forearms press into the floor. Heels push away. Now let's advance this. Tap to the front and change. Tap to the back. Just a little tap. Keep your neck long. Look slightly in front of your mat so the neck can find our lines. Two and one. Hold it here, hold. Push your forearms into the floor. If you're shaking a little bit, that's good. It means it's working. Time. All the way down onto your abdominals. Now, pregnancy option here is pointers. Otherwise, we're coming on down to iguana. Fingertips light out to your side. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Lift and exhale. Now, squeeze your butt. Belly button to the spine. You want to start to lift the fingertips if you can. So bring the arms wide. Lift, lift, lower. You can lift the legs. So we're working our whole back body. Exhale to lift. Really good for our posture, strengthening our back side. Now extend the arms and legs long and swim. A little swimming exercise. Belly button to spine and speed it up. Glutes are super tight and strong. Four, three, two, one. Stop. Final round. Let's do it together. Come in to hover. You ready? Let's go right into the side taps. Back leg and front leg. You can do this from your knees as well to modify. Keep your hips square and keep your butt down. Keep the spine long, keep squeezing your glutes. That's four, three, two, and all the way down. Arms extend wide, lift, lift. Lower. So the option here is just to keep the fingertips lightly on the floor, but use the strength of your back to lift. Advance. Arms go wide. You can lift the legs. Take a deep breath. One more. Arms and legs extend and swim to the end. Pick it up. Deep breath. This is intense. Four. Three, can you go faster? Two, 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 time. That's it, we're done. Let's take a child's pose. Forehead to the floor, stretch it out. Quick stretch, bring one leg forward, coming into a lunge. Hand comes across and we twist. Oh, it's warm in here. That is a great way to start out the week. Let's change legs. One leg comes forward and then let's take a twist. Bring 
bring yourself up to standing. Take your time, quad stretch, grab one ankle. And change sides. Heel in close to the glutes, knees together. You can grab a wall if you need to. That's okay if the legs are a little wobbly. We did a lot of legs today. Mid back stretch. And that is our workout. Virtual high five right here. You did amazing. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. I do live workouts every Monday, live at five, to start off our week on the right track. Let me know um, if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you back soon and have a great rest of your week. Bye now.